The Manuscript of Survival, Part 293. March 31, 2013. As many of you have already ascertained, this being tossed to and fro in these undulating waves of energy is by no means over yet, but we do hope that you have all been able to get a mouthful of fresh air at least once during these proceedings. We venture to guess that for many of you, the effects of all of these constant surges of wave-like energy will feel somewhat different from what you have been exposed to before, and rightly so. For you have indeed been raised not just another notch this time, rather, you have all been raised to a whole new level of existence to call it that, and therefore, the effects from what is constantly being beamed onto your planet and into your whole system have changed drastically. To your physical body, much will feel the same, but in fact, there are some dissimilarities from before. But as they in some cases are rather subtle, you may find it hard to hear the different resonance this is making throughout your whole system. For the tune has indeed changed, and so have you, and as such, the melody being played out by each and every one of you has also changed. And together, the choir you make up has changed its tune in such a way, the whole of creation is able to perceive it. And yes, this will indeed affect us all, and as such, the reactions to it will also change. In subtle ways, but also in some more noticeable ones. For remember, there are still those around trying with all of their might to quell these sounds of revelation, and as such, they will also feel forced to up the ante in any way they can. Hence the somewhat surprisingly vehement attacks some of you have encountered lately. For remember, your voices and your mere presence signals the arrival of a light that is becoming more and more brilliant, and for those eyes still more accustomed to shading themselves by constantly being focused on the dimmer regions of your planet, this brightening light will feel like it is almost piercing into their brain, even into their very core. So they lash out in protection, and anyone standing in their way may feel the brunt of these attacks. So it can be hard at times standing in this new light, for it exposes so much not only within yourself, but also within those around you, and that can indeed be painful in so many ways. For what you see it not always easy to digest. But again we say, you are exactly where you are supposed to be, and no matter what arises in these next few days, whether it is within your own sphere or it is on a more macro level, know that all is well and everything is happening for a reason. Remember, this is not judgment day in any connotation of the word. For this is neither doom nor a final reckoning of anyone's feasibility. For this is just the final clearance of anything that may still stand in the way of these arrows of light, and as such, give thanks to whatever you might find popping up in your life at the moment. For it is not coming up in order to make you feel bad in any way, far from it. It is only popping up to show you that you are jettisoning the last remnants of any baggage you might still have concealed somewhere on your person, and this baggage must go in order to help you take that final step forwards. So again we say, this is a process that can seem to be bewildering, as you will feel yourself being tossed between a complete state of bliss one moment, for then to be thrown into confusion by something that suddenly materializes in front of you. But even if it might seem like it to many of you, this is not a case of one step forward, two steps back. For no matter what you experience now, whether it can be looked upon as smooth sailing or fighting for breath, they can all be considered as steps forwards. So rest your weary heads and your confused bodies, and know that you are constantly being propelled forwards, in the best of ways. For we are helping you to keep putting one foot ahead of the next, as we see to it that you are gently guided to look in the direction that will give you the best of opportunities to find the most effective way to advance. And remember, you are not alone in this, and even if it all comes down to each and every one of you how you want to tackle this journey, you will have access to all the help and assistance you need in order to be able to fulfill this quest for glory. And glory is what you will find, no matter how deep you seem to be mired in the old muck at times. For you are not stuck there, not in any way, and the moment you realize this, you will not waste any more time fighting against it all. For surrender is once again the key word here, as to surrender is not to give up, it is merely to accept this process for what it is. And when you do this, 
you will indeed find yourself being carried on the swift current towards that final resting place, where you can simply step into your completeness and leave all of this toil and worry behind. The Constant Companions Channeled by Asia North Asianorth.wordpress.com